Hey guys, welcome to the final part of the third person camera. So what we're basically going to do today is we're going to make it so that um, the player can face any direction regardless of the camera. And um, when we hold right click or set a boolean, the player will face the camera. So when you're aiming in, for example. So first things first is in order to do this, we can't have the camera as a child of the capsule, mainly because when we rotate the capsule, the camera rotates as well, which we don't want to do. So let's go ahead and click and drag that fella out. Luckily, we created a reference to our player controller. So let me show you a fix because now we still need the position to line up. And so what we'll do now, instead of having um, the pivot, we need to create a target for that inside the capsule. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an empty inside the camera controller. Make sure that the position and everything is all zeroed out. Um, you can also click the three little dots and reset if it isn't. And then I'm going to rename this to camera target. And then I'm going to make this a child of capsule. Okay, so now what we want to do is inside camera controller, um, we're going to need to, oh wait, sorry, no, inside of current player controller. So let me just open up that script. Got our player controller here. Let's just create a public transform for camera target. Just like so. And then inside Unity, we'll just make sure that we set that variable, camera target. Okay, so now inside our camera script, I'll just open that back up. Now, what you'll notice is now that obviously it's not a child, the camera won't follow the capsule around. So as our player moves around, the camera is kind of static and not doing anything. So obviously we want to fix that. And what we'll do to fix that is inside our update, I'm just going to create a private void um, follow camera player. player camera target. A little bit of a mouthful. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to go ahead and throw that in the update for now. I'm going to tidy this up. I'm going to create a private void um, camera rotation. And I'll be calling this inside there. So we're tidying up our update because I just can imagine it can get quite busy. We'll just do that after calculating the position. There we go. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to set our position to the camera target whenever this function is being called. So what we'll do is go transform dot position equals our player controller dot camera target dot position. Okay, simple as that. Let's go into our Unity, make sure that our camera follows our player around. So I'll move the capsule around and yeah, as you can see, our camera is strapped to the player. So this is good. So you see, as we look around, our player doesn't rotate. So now let me take this moment to introduce you to Jack over here, who's going to be our experiment for our tutorials. He's going to be our little player. I'll put a link in the description where you can download them. So I'm going to click and drag them inside the capsule here. I'm going to bring them down to ground level. What I'm going to do is he is actually going to become our capsule. So I'm actually going to have to click and drag him outside the capsule and mimic everything that we did on the capsule on Jack. So firstly, let's make sure that he is on the ground. And what we'll do is 
we'll copy this player controller here. What I'll do is just uh, copy component, then on Jack, click the three little dots, and we want to paste component as new, just like so. Then what we're going to do is we're going to move this camera target over to Jack instead. There we go. So now what you could even do is attach the camera target onto a bone. So as the bone moves around, you can kind of get like a camera motion out of it. Okay, so I'm going to delete our capsule now. And inside our camera controller, we need to re-update the player controller reference. So we'll just click and drag Jack into there now. Cool. We'll just hit play. Make sure everything's still fine and dandy. Yeah, there you go. You see I can look around. And if I move Mr. Jack over here, the camera follows. Okay. So what we basically want to do is when we're aiming in or doing an action, what we're basically going to do is have the player rotation match the camera. So what we'll do on the player controller script, we'll create a public boolean and we'll just call it face camera. And what we're actually going to call it is, oh, well, let's actually just call it target, is target mode. There we go. Okay. So inside our update here, inside camera rotation, what we'll do is we'll check that variable is target mode. So that's on our player controller. It's going to add it in the bottom here. So player can, we'll add an if statement. Player controller that target is target mode. And if it is, um, we'll just set the player's rotation. Okay, so uh, you can either smooth it if you want. Um, I'm just going to straight set it for now and we'll smooth it a little bit later on. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm literally just going to go transform. Oh wait, no. So what we're going to need to do is create a bar current rotation equals layer controller dot transform dot rotation dot earlier angles. So again, the rotation in a vector three. And then what we want to do is do current rotation dot y. So the same axis our mouse x changes equals, and then we'll just pick up our target rotation dot y. Here. So it's set in the same way. We'll close that off and then we'll go layer controller dot transform dot rotation equals um, turn it back into a quaternion. And we'll take in current rotation. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and see what this looks like now. Alright, so if I hit play, we're able to look around the player, do what we need to do. And then if I go onto our character controller, player controller here, tick the is target mode, see our character now faces the camera. Which is good. So now let's, um, I'd like to add that smoothing. So we're going to do a smooth damp. So what I'll do is in a settings model, I'm going to add a header for character. And we'll just add a public float for the character 
rotation. Speed. Um, smooth. Um, but now we'll just set it to 1F as default. So character rotation smooth them. Now that we have that inside our settings, we'll also create, uh, if we're smooth damping, we'll also need a velocity. Unless, sorry, no, I'm thinking let's use the lap instead. We'll see what this looks like. Okay, so what we'll do then is under here, instead of just straight setting it, um, we can let okay go bar new rotation equals current rotation we'll apply our difference to new rotation instead so we'll go new rotation dot y equals target rotation dot y. Get rid of that there. Okay, so probably wondering why we have two now is we're going to let current rotation into new rotation. So current rotation equals and we'll have quaternion dot let Then inside here, so we want to let the current rotation to new rotation. And the speed we want to do it is what we put in our settings. Dot character rotation smooth damp. Okay, so you'll see that it's going to tell us off because quaternion let expects two quaternions to be passed in. So what we're going to do is we're going to change current rotation back to quaternion, which all we need to do is get rid of this dot earlier angles. Um, and then we don't need to convert it back to a quaternion as it is just a quaternion so we'll change that except now our new rotation um this is going to bug out now because we're trying to edit a quaternion we kind of want to set new rotation we want to be a vector three so we'll get current rotations earlier angles for the new rotation it will set the new rotation earlier angle to the one we use up here our target rotation except now our lap is going to complain because it's a vector three. So what we need to do is put it back into a quaternion. Yeah, quaternion or earlier. Put that back in new rotation, and jobs are good. In. Let's go ahead and check how this behaves now. So character rotation, we'll set that to 0 0.1 or something. Just hit play. See how this behaves. Okay, so when our is target mode is set to true, the player does rotate towards the camera. Okay, it's quite nice. Okay, so whether you want to change that to smooth damp or you want to leave it as a lap is up to you. Um, I kind of like the non-linear, so he moves quicker when there's more of um, more of an angle, uh, more of a difference. Sorry. Um, okay, so now that that's smoothed out, um, you can obviously play around with the settings. Next on the tutorial would actually be getting. Um, these systems to work together so i'll actually be doing the character movement in the next tutorial um so stay tuned for that and i will see you in the next one